Hey, great to see you again. How are things going, my friend? Things are going well. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Speaking to you from Toronto. We last spoke for Reboot Camp. So you've been a, a busy, uh, busy dude since then, huh? <laughs> you know, I mean, it was, the pandemic was hard, I'll say. Yeah. But, um, but last year, yeah, I, do, I did, I did this film and, and another film. And um, so, yeah, it was, it was a much better year. Well, good to hear. A couple of horrors. So first, I've got to ask you, like, uh, I, clearly, looking at your, you know, what you've done in your career so far, lots of horrors on your resume. Uh, yeah. like, are you sick and twisted? Or what's the deal here? Um, I mean, maybe, but that, but not because I like horror. Um, no, I, I think, I mean, part of it is, is just that I like horror and I've always liked the genre, but I, I kind of, I, I just kind of found myself a home there and, and I'm really happy to have it. I mean, it's, yeah. you know, it's allowed, horror has allowed me to, you know, work more consistently, um, to play the kind of characters that I, I like to play. And um, and I also, I think it's a great storytelling genre because you can really push, you know, story in a way, in an extreme way that you just can't really do in other genres. 100%. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, oh, absolutely. Like you can have, and also let's face it. I mean, when you're on a set doing a film like this, it's gotta be incredibly fun. It is for sure. Yeah, horror sets are, are really fun. I mean, you know, you can't you can't take you know it too seriously, and you, know, you can't live in that space. So it's kind of like cut, and everybody's you know then off joking and whatever. It's um, yeah, horror is it's it's I, I'm very grateful to horror. Well, good stuff. Good stuff. Keep up the great work. Okay, so let's let's dive into Bury the Bride. Okay, so not only are you acting in this, you're also a producer, which is really cool. Um, I want to go back and, and ask you, first off, how you connected with the script and how you connected with Spider One and how it all came together for you. Sure. Okay, so um, Chrissy Fox, who is the star of the movie and the co-writer of it, and the yeah. uh, Canadian, um, we have the same manager and so he had kind of for a while you know been telling both of us a little bit like you know I gotta introduce you guys you're gonna really hit it off you have the same taste in film um you know I think I just got to get you guys together and and so he did and we we hit it off um and we do have very similar aesthetics and so <laughs> I had done a couple of, of projects um, with Chrissy for their, um, they used to have a, a podcast on, on Bloody Disgusting that was, um, it was like scripted stories. It was, it was right. really scripted horror stories. So I did a couple of those and then um, they, you know, told me about, about this new script, Bury the Bride that they had been working on and, um, and it just kind of worked out at, at a good time in, in my life. And so I read the script, really liked it. Um, by that point, I was able to watch um, Allegoria, which was Spider's first film. Right. And that. And I just was like, all right, let's, you know, let's do it. I, you know, I, I felt safe, you know, putting money there because I, I really knew these guys. And, and, um, and yeah, it just started kind of from there. And, you and know, there, there you go. There you go. And I mean, yeah. at this point, close to, to the whole family. And um, and we're, you know, pre-production for our, our, our next film together now. Oh, that's so, amazing. Wow. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. So you do this one. Um, okay, now first of all, I'm, I'm thinking as I, as I started to watch it, I'm like, listen, Putting, putting women together in any setting is scary enough. Okay, so then this, you know, I mean, seriously, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, but you know, there's nothing right. compares to this to this one, this bachelorette party, I mean, whoa, this one really goes off the rails. Um, I don't want to give away too much, but you know, these yeah. girls go into this deserted, okay, what's your first clue, ladies, when you open and you see this shack? Okay, it's right. right. But then these like three scary guys come and, you know, it's it's bad. It's bad. Okay, so your character Puppy, 
First of all, I love the name. Did you create that name? <laughs> I honestly did not. That was that was Chrissy. That came out of you know she was telling me a story about how like her brothers fr growing up, she, you know, her brothers would have groups of friends and there'd always be one of them with this weird ass name like that. And so they, she came up with puppy. That's and, great. Yeah. <laughs> so great. And yeah. And your character Chad, like, doesn't say a lot, but I don't, yeah. Very effective. Very effective. Uh, I have to know how much gallon or how many gallons of fake blood was consumed during the making of <laughs> this film. Yeah, not luckily, not not too much. Um, it's not fun to swallow. Um, I can imagine, right? It's like, what is it? Like some sweet crap the, that you make? <laughs> so there's actually many types of blood used on film sets. And yeah. but what you're talking about is what we call mouth blood. And yes, it's it's just pure, like syrup. It's it's horrible. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's really it's the sweetest thing you've ever put in your mouth, and not in a good way. It's, I get it. Yeah, yeah, you're not gonna be putting it on your pancakes anytime soon. You're not putting it on your pancakes. No, exactly. <laughs> okay, and then tell me a little bit about the camaraderie on the set too, because also being the producer, look, you have another yeah. job that you have to worry about, right? Like financing right. and all this but it's to me that this group of actors you know yeah. really kind of got it got along very well it, it was great I mean it was it was all everybody I think except for one actor on on in the film you know somebody uh, one of the three of us had worked with before yeah. so there was a lot of yeah there was a lot of camaraderie and like already you know um uh like two of two of the two of the guys um in the in the film the guy who plays david the kind of main bad guy you know we met on our first day when i went back to acting class in 2012 at the end wow. of 2012, and we met our first day in class and like so you know maybe you could cut that out i'll i'll i'll, I'll bleep it out don't worry thank you um, <laughs> you're welcome so, <laughs> <laughs> and then one of the other guys I, I work with on, on American Horror Story. So, you know, so so that was great for me. And, and everybody had that, you know, that experience. Um, you know, a lot of the women had had worked either in Allegoria or in um, Chrissy's uh, first films, uh, Frank uh, or um, I'm blanking on the other name. But so. Okay. Uh, yeah, so there was, you know, so we got on set, everybody got along, you know, we were kind of always together. They rented this huge trailer for all the actors. And so, you know, we were always in there yeah. together. And yeah, it was, it was, I mean, we like, you know, we did a couple of read throughs at, um, at Spider and Christie's beforehand. And yeah, it was kind of like the, the, the cast just kind of clicked. Immediately. That's amazing. Where was this shot? Because it was such a desolate area. We shot in Lancaster, California, okay. and it's a it's a hard place to shoot. We found there's a lot of wind there. Okay. Um, yeah, so that was kind of the, the one element that we we battled a lot. But we shot at this incredible location in Lancaster that really had every <clears throat> everything that you see in the film. The main house that kind of broken down you know run down like empty house and then yeah. that weird double decker trailer thing with it was just this great property that kind of had had everything yeah it was perfect for it for sure yeah you, you know i wanted to ask you chaz you, you mentioned american horror story which is i mean it's beyond amazing still going strong um right. and now that you've taken on producing you know into your repertoire i was wondering because I, i'm such a huge ryan murphy fan i mean i think that everything that he touches is gold like it just yeah he's a genius um what did you learn from him you know maybe that you took with you going into this producing element in your career now well i mean i think you just you know working on american horror story yeah to me it's kind of was like the pinnacle of you know bigger budget great horror i mean it's a tv show but still yeah. you know um 
And so you kind of, I think I took, like, that's where everybody wants to get. And, yes. yeah. you know, he, he hires such good people um, to, you know, to, to work for him and, and all, you, you know, kind of different positions that you deal with as the makeup department is just phenomenal and mm -hmm. costumes and, you know, just all, all the production people are, are so great. And, um, and the crew that, yeah, I think, I think that like that you can, at least for me, I can take that away and be like, yeah, someday, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm never rose, r rise to those heights, but as a, as a producer, it, it definitely helps to show me where, you know, where it's possible to go and where, you know, where I want to go. Yeah, that's amazing. Well, good for you. Good for you. So what else is next? I know you said you were working on another, like with yeah, this, so, this group, yeah. but anything else that we need to keep an eye out for? I've got another film coming out um, called uh, The Bell Keeper. I right, another know, horror, right? Another horror, yeah. Another yeah. horror. Um, I'm just not sure when when that is getting released yet. So still waiting on news about that. But um, And then, yeah, we're... we're um, you know, in pre-production now, hoping to shoot in, in uh, June, our next film. So, nice. yeah. Good stuff. Well, good, good for you. I'm, I'm so happy to see that you're doing so well and, and, and enjoying life and, and having a, a great time with these scary movies. So keep up the good work and come visit Thanks. us in Toronto sometime. The weather's getting nice here, so there's no excuse. I would love to. <laughs> okay, Chess, thanks so much for your time. Always a pleasure to talk to you and Thank have a